Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and there's a new proof of work token or coin out there called Wag Layla. And I want to go over how to get your node set up and create your wallet. We'll go over mining in a future video, but this is a new project. The team is doing a lot of work. The guides still need to be updated on the website and the GitHub. And I am just assisting to a certain capacity for this project. I'm not the lead dev, but I have been assisting this team. Uh, in their venture as they move forward. I just want to make sure you're aware of that. Uh, we'll do a full breakdown in a future video, but if you want to get started, you want to go to waglayla.com. Links will be in the description. Again, we'll go with a full breakdown later on in the future. But if you click on resources, it takes you straight down to that section. Click on setup node and CLI wallet, which again needs to be updated. And even if you're on Windows, I would recommend uni using the Linux subsystem commands to install this. So I'm going to show you how to do that on a Windows system, but the same commands obviously are applicable to a Linux or Ubuntu-based system, which I personally love or would prefer over a Windows system. First off, how do we get Linux or Ubuntu or the commands found in Linux on our Windows system? Well, cool thing is, is if we open up our command prompt, uh, and if your system has multiple administrators on it and you're not an administrator, like you're a standard user, and your parents are the administrator, you might have some issues you bump into, so just make sure you're an admin. But let's try typing in WSL and see what happens. There we go. So it's gonna give us a bunch of different commands. Install is what we wanna do. Install Windows subsystem for Linux features. If no options are specified, the recommended features will be installed along with default uh, distribution. And they have different distributions that you can select, so on and so forth. Uh, in this case, I'm going to probably do this one right here, Ubuntu and then let it install whatever the latest one is. Uh, you can also, if you play around with this, and I would recommend playing around in a virtual environment uh, with these various distributions or different operating systems, just get used to it. You can also list the various di distributions with the dash dash list command. But in this case, we're just gonna do that right there. Um, and installing the virtual machine platform. Let this install, and then we'll go on through the steps. The Windows setup of this particular uh, CLI or uh, command line interface wallet nodes on Windows can be a bit cumbersome. I can see why some people are deterred by it. Uh, the team is working on a future desktop wallet or web wallet. Stay tuned for announcements for them. I'm not going to say they are doing it. I don't want to set the wrong expectations. But I know that if you look at this and you're like, I need to download Git. I need to download protocol buffers, Visual Studio. I need to set environmental variables in Windows, Rust. Like it can be a bit challenging when you look at it. It's not that hard, but uh, that's why I encourage you, the end user, to just play around with it. Get used to a new OS, load up a virtual machine, VMware, VirtualBox, Proxmox, Docker, whatever, and play around, get used to playing around with the commands and subsets. So we're just letting Ubuntu install on our Windows system so that way we can utilize it uh, and go ahead and configure our node and everything on our Windows system. And now that that's completed, we're going to need to restart our system. As you see here, requested operation is successful. Changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted. So we can go ahead and close out this command prompt and reboot our system. If you do restart your system and you get an error message that's talking about please enable virtualization in your UEFI or BIOS, make sure you do that. Follow whatever your motherboard guidelines um, or documents say. But before we even start running these commands in the Linux, uh, the Windows Linux subsystem uh, area, I want you to do two things. I want you to go to the main website, scroll down, click on the GitHub, and I want you to download this one right here, the Waglayla D Rusty. Um, and then I want you to download uh, the bridge. Bridge we'll talk about in the mining video, but go ahead and download this. When you download it, it should show as master. That's what I'm looking for here. Yep, so it's there. It's downloading correctly because there's there's two repos and one got some people confused. So the Waglayla D Rusty, click on it, click on code, download zip, and then the other one is the bridge, which you can download and again save for my next video. If not, figure it out. It's very simple. We use the same bridge technology when we were mining other tokens uh, like Caspa. But once you have those downloaded, I will say that the guide here where it says git clone, don't do that. Just go and download it. Um, otherwise, change the, the link here 
I'll post that in the description what the actual link is. If we hit code, there's a link right there. Um, but for some reason, there's two of them. And I think it just needs to be cleaned up, which the team is working on updating the guide and everything. But if we go to our downloads now, here's the folder we need. Rusty Master. Okay, not Waglela D main, but Rusty Master. So if you have the main one, you're on the wrong one. So let's go ahead and extract these. Uh, and I'll give it a name just for just for dis demonstration purposes, like test or something. But it's extracting right now. Let that run its course. And then we're going to go into this directory, right click in a Windows 11 environment, open in terminal. If it's Windows 10 or older environment, you could always CD or change directory to get to wherever this folder is. All right, there it is. Let me go ahead and back to downloads. Let's go ahead and change this to test. Go back in here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do some stuff in this folder. Um, you can do it in here. doesn't really matter. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just run it here. So open in terminal. Window pops up. WSL is what I want you to do. And now we can start running through our prerequisite commands. Okay. So first up, sudo apt install curl git. This one right here, the first one. We're going to go ahead and run that. My system is going to run really, really fast because I already installed this stuff. You will need to type in your password for whatever the user is uh, since we're running inside this Linux environment on your Windows system. And then that installs with the dependencies. Then the second command right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in, right click to paste. That installs or upgrades. And then this long string right here, the third one down, go ahead and copy that, paste that as well. It's going to install, it's gonna take longer for you or update if you already had installed it. And now to install Rust, you're gonna run this command, uh, but I already have Rust installed. But let me show you what that looks like. It is a bit of a process and follow the on-screen prompts, okay? Uh, so it would tell you one, and that's the one I would choose for standard installation, press enter, and then it's gonna go through the whole process. You see here, uh, it's gonna take a minute and then say Rust is installed now, great install some environment so on and so forth but please 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 note um that you will have to restart your cli or command line interface in order for the environment to take place it says here to get started you may need to restart your current shell environment so we're going to go ahead and close that out and go ahead and reopen it in the folder we were just in uh, so again right click open in terminal pop up that window wsl once again uh, it won't say Docker for you. It might say something else because you have to install, like I showed you at the beginning, a Ubuntu, you can install Daybin, whatever you want. But let's go ahead and run the Rust update command just to see if we do need to update. Sure enough, we don't. We're good to go. And now we can run the last two here before we start playing around with the wallet. Cargo install WASM pack and then the next one down. So let's run that. It's going to say updating. Things are up to date. If we want to override the installation, we can do so. You don't need to worry about that. It's just because I have it installed already. So now that we have done all that, let's see if cargo will run as it should. Now we need the... I want to make sure we're in the right one here because there's two folders, right? So you see... Where is it at? CLI. So here's where the wallet is. And then here's where the main... This is the main wallet directory. So if we copy this command... So this command, you can use normal, but if you're going to be mining on the same machine that you're currently installing the node on, use this one is what I recommend. Uh, but there's some more detailed information that you can ask the community in the Discord. I would challenge you to do that. For this, this one, you know, because maybe we might mine with our GPUs to this exact same node that the machine is on, then I'm just going to go ahead and run this one for now. But long story short, this one, if you're going to run your miner and the node and the miner on the same machine, the other one, um, if you're not if you're not going to mine to the same node that is uh, installed on the same machine as the miner, uh, for in connecting multiple miners on a local area network, uh, we can use the Stratum Bridge to do that, which we'll go over in a different video. But let this install and run its course, and then let's go create a wallet together. It does take a bit to install, just be patient, but I want to just reiterate a couple things here. Uh, again, I'm not a leader uh, or the lead dev. I have been helping out with this project to a certain capacity, 
They do need to update the guys on the website and the GitHub to make it more clear. Uh, I believe they'll be working towards a web wallet or a desktop wallet or some type of more convenient wallet because I know the mining community doesn't always want to use CLI or command line interfaces. So just be patient. If you have any errors, jump in the Discord uh, to get help from your colleagues, peers in the space, but uh, also reach out if need be. New project, there's going to be bumps in the road. Uh, but as long as we communicate and share some of the troubleshooting that we're doing, we should be good. And actually, if you get an error when you followed me through the previous steps, uh, look at the error. And the error will usually tell you what is wrong. Do a little quick Googling and you might find out what the problem is. But again, you could always jump into the Discord, ask some questions from the community and go from there. But let this finish wrapping up the installation process and we're going to open up a second window because we want the node to start syncing and be synced uh, and then create our wallet all right looking good so far so the node is up and running uh, we could go back to our folder right and we need to go to the cli wall uh, folder now right so right here we're going to open this in terminal and now we need to start playing with our wallet so let's let the node do its thing in the top left bottom right we're going to go WSL again, and now we need to run some commands to connect the wallet. First of all, uh, we're going to run cargo release, right? Cargo run release. That's the command we're going to use to start the wallet. It's going to do its thing, and once that's done, we need to connect the server, which we can use our local host IP 127.0.0.1 colon 13.10. Uh, which is connecting to the node on the same machine. Otherwise, you can use the, the public RPC. Um, still, again, some fine-tuning project needs to work on a couple things, uh, but I'm just connecting to my local node that's on the same machine. We're going to set the network to mainnet, and then we're going to connect. But I want to show you a trick. So let the wallet load, do its thing, and we'll show you here in just a second. All right, with the wallet done, I, again fine tuning you could see there was a couple of panic info aliases here that need to be addressed because they're depreciated uh something the team needs to work on but the wallet is installed and now it's waiting for commands first thing i want you to do though is uh let's do wallet dash dash help because we want to see the commands right so close a wallet close create a wallet create hint hint import and I didn't play around with the import functionality yet. Uh, I would just recommend whatever machine you're setting up your wallets on, just make that your machine that you control your wallets with until a GUI or some type of graphic user interface type wallet, QT, web wallet comes out. List and open. Well, we don't have any wallets open yet, so we probably need to create some, right? So let's go wallet, create, and watch what happens. You got a default account title. So we got to give it a name. So let's call it test. All right. And now phishing hint is a secret word, right? So there's going to be a phishing hint that displays to let you know you are accessing your wallet. If you see a different word or a different name than what you have provided, then be careful. In this case, again, we're just going to use test. Create phishing hint. It's optional, or you could just leave it blank, hit enter, and skip. But I titled my account test, and I'm giving the phishing hint test. Enter. Enter wallet encryption password. This is a password of your choice, whatever you want it to be. In this case, once again, we're going to do test. And then we're going to type it again, because that's what it wants to confirm the password. And now you see here uh, that it's going to request that you can either set up your own BIP39 mnemonic phrase or you can just hit enter and it will create one for you. In this case, we're just gonna hit enter and create one for us. Boom, there you go. There's my wallet, you can steal it. You can do all kinds of stuff. Now, if you notice, there's NC right here. That means not connected. But we do have a wallet address, but it's on the test net. It's not on the main net. So we have a problem here, don't we? So let's backtrack. How do we get out of this? Well, we're gonna type in close. Then we're going to use the information on the on the website here. We're going to set the server, and I'm going to make it the local host. We're going to set the network to mainnet, not testnet, because default it went to testnet. And then we're going to connect. 
meaning connect to our node, which you can see 127.0.0.1. So we are now connected to this node right here, right? Now we're going to do wallet create. Um, it is going to create a different wallet, right? Are you sure you want to override it? Yes, right? Because we created a different wallet. You can create differently named wallets by using wallet create name, right? So we're just going to overwrite. But if we wanted to, we could do wallet create test two or what have you. So in this case, we're going to overwrite test, test again for our phishing hint, password of your choice, and then mnemonic phrase if you want to generate one. I wouldn't bother. I would just hit enter and then take whatever it gives you. And now you can see we are on our test account. And here is our mainnet wallet address. You're going to need to copy that and save that somewhere as well as your seed phrase, which is right here. If you want to take over this wallet, feel free, have at it. Everybody that's watching this video is going to be on it. So be careful. I wouldn't recommend using this. It's a joke, but there you go. So we successfully created a wallet and look, we are connected. So all we need to do is back up our wallet and our seed phrase somewhere safe. And now we can look at getting our miners online to mine this particular token through our own node. But we will need to set up a bridge and everything. So stay tuned for the next video where I go over how to mine it. But this is the end of getting the node configured on a Windows system or Linux, right? Because the commands apply for both. I'm just using the Linux subsystem language on my Windows system, which makes my life easier than doing all this on a Windows system. Just to be honest, that's just my personal opinion. Some people may see that differently, but I'm also uh, used to running Ubuntu Linux and those types of operating systems rather than Windows. Even though Windows is my day-to-day, -day, I prefer Ubuntu slash Linux. So we ran through all of these commands. Instead of doing the git clone, we went directly to the repos or the GitHub linked on the main website and in the description of this video. We downloaded the Rusty repository and the Stratum bridge and we did everything inside the Rusty repository. As you see here, once we extracted it, we went in here in this main folder. We opened in terminal, switched to WSL, um, and then ran the commands following the guide to get the node running and then went into the folder called CLI to get the wallets running. And when we did that, uh, we set our server. And again, you can use the public RPC server or you can use your local node. We set the main net and then we did connect first, right? Type connect and then wallet create to create our wallet. So now we have a node and a wallet ready to go for mining. So that's going to do it for this video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel. And we greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for how to mine to your own node locally uh, via your LAN. Right? We're going to have a node here. And then we're going to have machines or rigs throughout the house that are mining through my node on a centralized machine of your choice. Anyways, get out of here. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.